Hey guys, it's Bert. I know it's been a little bit. Uh, finals are finally done, so I get to have a very momentary reprieve from school. Uh, summer classes actually start next week. It is Thursday right now. So, summer classes are going to be really fun. There are two international finance and accounting classes. I don't know the particulars. I know that they're, instead of taking place over the course of 16 weeks, they're going to take place over four weeks. So, my little brain is going to be... It's just a giant pile of mush. Anyway, uh, a couple things. Today we're not working on the Exo set. Today we're going back to our roots. We are 3D printing. Now, I'm working on some really cool stuff here. Um, I had a friend recently send me a Gundam model kit that they wanted me to build and do some detailing for them. And I haven't had a lot of time to work on that. So I'm doing a little side project that I'm going to send along with that model kit when I send it back, which it will look absolutely perfect i will make sure of it. it's a barbados lupus rex and it it looks pretty uh it looks savage i'm just gonna say it looks savage but aside from that i'm actually working on something else right here hang on let me zoom now, now i know how pewdiepie always feels with this stupid camera so i'm working on this bad boy right here um now someone had sent me this model a couple of years ago and i'm not exactly sure hang on why is this thing doing that? All right. Someone had sent me this model like back in 2018, maybe early 2018. I don't really remember. And I really liked it. Beautiful model, lots of detail. I have no idea where it came from. So if someone can tell me where this mech thing came from, I'd be very, very uh, happy to hear you know who made it so I can give credit to the creator. But they had said, hey, why don't you make one of these? And I'd always wanted to make it, never really had a chance to. And... Uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to send this along with the Barbados when I send it back. Just as kind of a, hey, sorry I uh, took forever to get it done. No hard feelings, I'm just really, really busy, unfortunately. Oh, man, it's just nice to actually get like a week to completely unwind from school and from work. Because it has just been absolutely... Oh, it, uh, it's, been, it's been nuts. I... I I've been taking it easy, and yet I'm st I still feel like I've got, like, the flu, and it's the middle of the summer. But let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm working on over here. Let's just give you guys a better look at... Just so we're, we're clear, I'm a huge robot fan. Always have been. Big junkie. I love my, my Gundam stuff. Always have. Just, you know, that's just the way I am. But I really like this model, and I just... It reminded me a lot of, like, Metal Gear Solid and, like, Metal Gear Ray and Rex a little bit, which is probably going back to my roots again. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working on right here. So, as you can see, yes, I am building a pretty cool mech, and I've always, again, as I said, I'm a robot nut. Always have been. So, whenever there's a new Gundam or Transformers movie or Pacific Rim or Godzilla, I'm a Godzilla junkie, yes, I am definitely going to go see that. And the new John Wick movie I'm going to see tomorrow night with my dad, so that's going to be awesome. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm building one of those. Now, as you can see, this thing here stands about, oh... I don't know, it's, it's about about 16 inches, about 16 inches tall, which isn't bad. Now, I was thinking to myself, you know, 16 inches, it's not bad. That's actually a fairly decent sized mech, but I must have had a, a momentary lapse in judgment or just feeling a little dumb. So, as, as you can see, the chest, the chest part right here, you can see how big that is. Well, 
So this is the other one <laughs> that I made. Uh, so as you can see, the chest cavity for this uh, this part here, this size, is uh, bigger than the whole model. And uh, so this is actually scaled up to, um, that's scaled up to three. This is scaled up to five. Now this is going to be, uh, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this one. I would really like to get this cast in aluminum. I think that would be really, really cool. I gotta stop looking at the the, the lens after the the screen after the right of my camera. It makes it makes me feel like I'm not paying attention. Um, I've really gotta gotta figure out what I want to do. I'd actually like to get this cast in aluminum. Now I know that would be a tremendous undertaking and probably a little bit more than I'm capable of because I'll be honest, I haven't forged anything since high school and I suck at it. Last I checked, but it's gonna be really, really cool to see how big this thing's gonna get now. This is really testing the, the scale factor limitations with my 3D printer. So I'm really just kind of limited on what I can what I can do. If you notice also the whiteboards have changed. Or the, the board behind me has changed. I've kept a lot of the guns. I threw out a couple. The rest are in storage. Um, but with going to school and that, there's I got to keep track of some stuff. So I look at these things every day and that helps remind me of my classes and my tests. And I got to read and all this other stuff. But on top of that, you'll notice that I'm also working with a, uh, I've got a VR headset here and I'm working with a program and I'm actually um, on my spare time working with Zeke and we are developing our first VR game. Not really sure what the genre is yet. We're just trying to get the mechanics uh, nailed down, but it's gonna be really, really cool to see what kind of stuff we can come up with. So we got a lot going on. I mean, I'm finishing up my master's, and then I got my doctorate, I got work, I got this stuff, I got that, I got the exo set. I'm a busy guy. So I know people are people are pissed off um, about the exo set not, not getting completed. And I am trying, guys. PennDOT is not making this easy for me. And I know with the the memory card that we had that went bad, with a lot of the video that we had on it, that really hurt. Uh, I've, I'll be honest, I've spent about three grand trying to get the data recovered where they actually have literally scraped the lid off of the SD card and they're literally touching individual sectors on it to try and recover the data. And I'm really, really trying to get the, the data recovered, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. It looks like whatever happened there, they said it was, it looks like it got hit with an EM, uh, EM pulse at some point. So I don't know if there was some sort of a meteorological thing going on, or it could have been something I was messing with in the garage. I work with a lot of really weird electronics. So that may have been my fault. Or it could have been that the fact that the other camera we had, this is actually a new camera. Same as the old one, but I think that it may have been actually that there was a bad, the camera was bad because I had three cards go bad. I just, the other two cards I lost, I had a chance to back stuff up first. So we will see. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot going on other than I'm back to 3D printing really cool stuff. So be posted. I am going to actually do a upload of this guy here. I've got to get the video rendered um, once I get a chance here. The computer's currently being used for other things. And we're going to go ahead and go through how we built this guy, putting it together, detailing it, painting it, making it look badass. So stay tuned. Um, the last video for the Exoset... Oh God, um, wiring harness, I have the video. Um, pretty much done with that. I've got to actually wait on some of the wiring until I find acceptable headlights. So that sucks. And then we're gonna build this big bad mother and this is gonna be awesome. So do stay tuned. I'll uh, I'll be back actually, I feel like I need a Red Bull. <laughs> I'm actually about to crash. And then we've got an anime movie review to, or uh, preview tonight or debut, I don't know what it is. I'm exhausted, but uh, yeah, we're working hard. I haven't forgotten about you guys. I know I'm not the best YouTuber with uploading stuff, but I'm a busy guy. I don't even have kids yet. God forbid I have kids right now. I, I'd have no free time for anything. Let's, let's just knock on wood. Hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon. Anyway, guys, I am Bert. I love you all. Yes, we are back to 3D printing. Really cool stuff. If you got a cool robot, something like that, and you have the model, <clears throat> and you want me to 3D print it, send it to me. No Warhammer. Nothing Warhammer. I don't support that that kind of 3D printing their stuff. So, anything other than that, 
Send me the models, and we'll see what we can do. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Until next time, I am Bert. Like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.